It is difficult to find the words to express the depth of the emotions felt at a time such as this. Some that come to mind are shocked, devastated, worried, concerned, anguished, sad, heartbroken, angry, devastated, outraged, horrified. Our feelings of despair are prompted by the scenes of the sheer brutality, the cruelty, and animal-like behavior of the Hamas terrorists who are indiscriminately gunning down and murdering anyone they can, taking children, babies, elderly men and women, pregnant women and others, and equally disturbing are the scenes of those Palestinians and Arabs who are celebrating with joy and rejoicing at the barbar barbarous atrocities. The unprovoked, unjustified attack launched on the Sabbath that was a Jewish holiday is a stark reminder of what Israel faces and why it must be so vigilant in doing whatever it is necessary to protect its people and to not allow attacks against them to go unanswered. It has often been said, were the Arab armies to lay down their arms for a day, nothing would happen. But if Israel were to do so, the response would be brutal and immediate. Sadly, we now know that this was not just rhetoric or a talking point, but is true. The one emotion we must feel at a time such as this, in addition to everything stated at the outset, is solidarity. Solidarity and unity with our brothers and sisters in Israel. To that end, we said special prayers at our service on Saturday morning and our Simchat Torah celebration on Saturday night was unlike any we've ever had before. We only took out one Torah scroll, the one that was rescued from a Jewish community in Europe that was destroyed during the Holocaust. The first Hakafa was done silently. Subsequent ones were equally subdued, building and building a little bit as we concluded the last one with the singing of arousing Am Yisrael Chai, the people of Israel lives. The symbolism conveyed by what, what the symbolism conveyed what we are all feeling and made a powerful and lasting impression on all who were here. I want to prepare you for what to expect in the upcoming days as Israel prepares an all-out response and may seek once and for all to defeat Hamas decisively. While the initial press coverage in most outlets has been positive and sympathetic, do not expect that to continue once Israel begins to respond. Expect to hear terms such as cycle of violence and Israel launching a disproportionate response. There will be efforts to evoke sympathy for the enemy as Hamas hides behind civilians and uses schools and hospitals, some affiliated with United Nations organizations, as launching pads for their rockets. Attempts to explain that the reason for the attack is because of frustration over the so-called occupation should be rejected outright. The only Israelis who are in Gaza today are those who are being held captive as hostages by Hamas. We need to remind the world of these things. And rather than choose the path of peace after Israel vacated the Gaza Strip, Gaza instead aligned themselves with the murderous regime in Iran, who, let us not forget, is behind the attack and who wish to prevent Israel from making peace with any of its neighbors in the region. There will be a solidarity rally for Israel in many communities, and the enemies of the Jewish people will also be out in full force with their lies, their distortions, and their hate. Now's the time to make a choice as to where we stand. So I want to share how to respond and what you can do and should do. One, write to senators and members of Congress and the White House, thanking them for their steadfast, rock-solid support for Israel. Next, when a media outlet or social media posting misrepresents, misreports, or distorts what is going on, speak up, respond. Call or write and let them know it is unacceptable. Watch for information about a community response or rally in support of Israel. Come to synagogue on Shabbat to show our solidarity. And should we hold any special service or vigil, join us then. The cost of the war and the damage it has done will be significant and will place a heavy burden upon Israel and Israelis. They need not stand alone. 
our local federation in cooperation with JFNA, the Jewish Federations of North America, has set up an Israel Crisis Fund. I invite you and encourage you and ask you to please support and contribute by going online and donating to the Israel Crisis Fund of the Jewish Federation. And three final things to keep in mind. To keep the attack in context, once you hear apologists trying to justify the attack. Number one, ever since Hamas took control of Gaza after Israel vacated the area in its entirety, rather than develop a peaceful haven and invest in its people, Hamas chose to build infiltration tunnels and to spend its money to purchase and launch rockets, to send balloons and kites to be attractive to children so that it would set fires across the border in Israel, doing ecological damage, brainwashing its people with hatred and the most vile anti-Jewish propaganda, and do whatever it could to terrorize and murder Israelis. Number two. Hamas's activities and are funded and supported by the repressive regime in Iran, who is the biggest sponsor of terrorist activities in the world. And number three, Israel's response will be strong. It will be unrelenting and it will not be pretty, as it most likely will seek to inflict a fatal blow to Hamas so that it will be eliminated and once and for all no longer be a continuous threat to Israel. Keep in mind, there may be attacks from the north as well. And so at a time such as this, let us stand together. Many of us have friends and relatives in Israel, and some of them may be serving in the armed forces to defend the country. Several of my nephews and my wife's nephews have been called to active duty. Our shaliach, Ido Naaman, is on his way to join his tank unit in battle as we speak. And so we pray. We pray for the safety of all those in Israel, for the safe return of those being held captive. May we stand strong and united with the people of Israel. Am Yisrael Chai, the people of Israel, will live, will prevail, and will succeed. Thank you.